Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another Photoshop Element 6 video tutorial. Thanks to everybody that's been subscribing to the show. I'm glad that you're actually sticking around and watching these. Thanks for all the great comments as well as thanks for the email questions. This topic today actually came from one of our viewers and an email question. The question was, Jack, how do you actually uh, change or enhance skin tone. I'm going to show you that with our uh, chorus concert that I went to and this is a group of friends that wanted their picture taken. So I took the picture and we're going to head work on that and we're going to also work on fixing some blemishes on their skin which is very important. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and right click on the picture and go into full edit. Now with the full editor open, we're going to start by doing what we always do. We're going to duplicate our background layer. And then we're going to go up here to view, fit on screen. Now the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you a trick on how to work on a part of your picture. Kind of isolate that part so you can see it a lot better to work on it. You know, the old way of working on things, you would try to get in here and work is on all these little small details um, back in here. and that's tough you know we have these great cameras these multiple uh, very high megapixel cameras so let's go ahead and work on it now the first thing I want to explain to you though what makes skin tone different colors what changes the shading of skin tones the basic thing that changes skin tones that you gotta look for in your camera is what is known as white balance a lot of people turn their cameras on point and shoot automatic pick it up click 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 the camera does a pretty good job of figuring out what situation you're in. But the reason they put the manual controls on the camera is so you can tell the camera what situation you are currently shooting in or going to be shooting in. So, in this situation, um, I can show you some really bad shots because before I went to this course concert, I was actually shooting the pictures that we looked at, uh, I believe, last week, which were the pictures of the track meet. So I had my white balance set on sunlight. Well, there's no sunlight when you're inside of a uh, cafeteria or an auditorium. So I needed to change that to um, tungsten or incandescent lighting. And I even tried a little bit with fluorescent lighting because I noticed that's the lighting that was on the ceiling. So it changes the color, it changes the contrast of the pictures. That's where skin tones get changed. It also gets changed by if you're using your flash and you're too close to the subject, you'll overexpose. In other words, you'll get too much flash and it blows out the skin color altogether. Now, to narrow it down here to get closer to the person so we can see what's going on, let's click the magnifying glass, or they call it the zoom tool, and just draw a square over the part of the picture you want to work on. And if it's not big enough, do it again. Now we can see where we want to work. I want to work on this acne up here. Every teenager wishes they can get rid of acne as fast as I'm going to do it right now. We're going to make sure the background copy is clicked on so we can work on the layer. Go over here to the clone stamp tool. Click on that. Get a brush size selected. And you can use this. See when you put your mouse right up there? It puts a little finger with a double arrow. I can click my left mouse button. I can drag it back and forth and change the size. Let's lower it down a little bit. We don't want it too big because then we're picking up too much skin. These are very little acne here. You know, it's not that much. So uh, raise it a little bit more to work. Okay. Hold the Alt key down. And we used this before when we were getting rid of um, things in the picture that aren't supposed to be there. We kind of hid them with this tool. Let's hold the Alt key down. See how it changes to a bullseye? Get as close to where you want to work and left click and make a sample. And then just click over what you want to get rid of. Once again. Once again there. Right there. Right here right here possibly right there and maybe one on the nose maybe one more right there and one right there I'm not sure what this is but we'll color that up okay once you get that you can see how fast we get rid of that acne go back to view fit on screen now I notice there's one little mole up here the family or the mother might say well that's my daughter and that's the lovely little mole and that's how I know her well, that's okay, but you know, if you're framing this and you're going to hang it on your wall, for the girl's sake, let's get rid of it. Go ahead and color over this, or just uh, 
draw a square, I mean, over it, we can blow it up. Now, when we blow it up, look, we have a couple extra. We couldn't see when it was on fit this screen. Hmm. So when we blow this picture up to an 8 by 10 or 11 by 14, those may in fact have showed up. Let's go back to our clone stamp tool. Go down here. Hold the Alt key down. And just go right over it. Oops. You can see I sampled too far over, so it gave me a different color of skin tone. There we go. One right there. And one right there. I think this is actually part of her hair up there, so we're just going to cut off part of that one. And there may be just a little pimple right there. Now, view, fit on screen. There we go. Now, at that point, you can see that everything is set back up. It looks good. Now, we're going to go ahead and adjust the skin tone color. To adjust the skin tone color, all we have to do is go under Enhance, Adjust Color, and go down to adjust color for skin tones. It's going to say click on any person's skin. Elements will adjust the entire photo to improve the color. If you're not satisfied, click on a different point or move the sliders to achieve the result you want. This girl's skin here looks pretty much natural compared to everybody else's. So let's go ahead and sample that skin. At that point, it's going to adjust the color for the over, overall picture and hopefully pick up some of the other skin tones and actually adjust those. And if it's not exactly right, you can pick on another skin tone. Let's pick on this girl's uh, cheeks right here. They look kind of blushed. And you can see the temperature. The temperature is the direct result of light. Light and temperature, that's where we kind of come up with white balance at, is the temperature of the light um, displaying on them. So between the lights here, place fluorescent lighting, and the flash I use to flash the uh, picture, that's where it changes the lighting. You can adjust the tan. You can adjust the color of this tan back and forth a little bit. Kind of get some different ideas with skin tone. You can adjust the blush. Uh, back up and down or you can make this red is indicator of hot lighting blue is the indication of cooler lighting once you get that click on OK and at that point it's going to reset our picture and actually adjust our skin tone now that's done Photoshop Elements has fin finished making its corrections and it adjusted for the skin tone well that was very simple of how to get rid of blemishes as well as how to adjust some skin tones. And you don't always have to use the face for skin tones. You can always use that eyedropper and pick up an arm. If the color looks better, maybe the lighting is different over here, and you want to adjust the overall color or the skin tones with the uh, different areas of the body. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. And like I said, I've enjoyed reading all your comments. Uh, keep posting them. I do read them all. I may not reply to everyone, uh, but I try. Most of you know that you have gotten a reply back from me. Um, and spread the word around. If you see somebody sh out shopping and they're picking up Photoshop Element 6, ask them if they ever used YouTube and tell them about the channel and the videos. I'm sure it's going to help them as much as it helped you. Um, if you're on any video websites, uh, such as like forums or, or blog sites, um, Throw a little uh, post out there about the show and hopefully bring more subscribers over to the show and to YouTube. It doesn't make me any uh, money. It doesn't make bring me anything. But uh, but basically happiness that people are watching these things and learning. Um, that's what drives me to do these. I enjoy the program and I enjoy teaching it. Once again, I'm your host, Jack. And I'll see you back here very soon. Very soon. Excuse me. Sometimes that's the problem of recording live and not doing a bunch of editing on these. I'll see you back here very soon with another Photoshop Element 6 video tutorial. Take care and keep clicking around. I'm sure you'll learn more. If you have any suggestions or ideas for future shows, email me. Take care and we'll talk soon.